lights, camera, storage, action. Uh, thank you, Mr. Bernard, for speaking to us. We have Mr. Bernard from uh, Tenable, and we're going to talk about the presence at uh, Jitex this year and uh, the solutions they're focusing on. Uh, thank you once again for speaking to us. Thank you. Thank you. We would like to start with a brief about your presence at Jitex and uh, the solutions you're uh, showcasing. So um, uh, we are very proud to be at Jitex. Uh, it's a huge event. I've been here, you know, a couple of months before with Jitex. And, uh, you know, Tenable is present, uh, obviously, through our distributors and partners. And um, we have a lot of activities. We have a lot of uh, information and news. So we want to be able to share about the entire, uh, you know, Tenable solutions. Okay. Uh, you recently acquired, Tenable recently acquired uh, Atlantic. So we wanted to know how their products and solutions can complement your uh, offerings. So, Amedic acquisition is really in our expansion strategy around uh, exposure management. Uh, we were already covering part of the cloud uh, with some capacity that we already had with, um, you know, development we've done and also other acquisitions. But Amedic is really putting us into um, a very advanced capacity uh, with uh, a domain called Synap, uh, which is exactly putting everything together regarding uh, cloud security. So Amedic is a very strategic acquisition, technically speaking, will allow our customers to uh, have the full visibility they need and the capacity to find exposure in the cloud. Okay. Uh, in terms of the threat landscape uh, th that is continuously evolving, um, what sort of uh, trends have you seen? What sort of new threats have come up? Rather, is ransomware still a problem for uh, com companies? So we, we observe the threat landscape every day and it's changing, you know, rapidly. Um, we have a research team which is doing that uh, every single day. So we believe that the ransomware are still number one um, because keep in mind that the main goal for the attackers is a business. So they need to get money first. So yes, ransomware is still leading the race. We've seen so far involvement on the capacity they have to be much more specialized. Uh, recently, there have been an attack that's very covered, uh, the MGM attack, for example. And we've seen that there were, you know, affiliate, affiliate groups, uh, you know, asking for services. And they are also targeting not only very big organizations, but also small organizations. Uh, we see so far that very small, you know, hospitals or cities or has been attacked. So there are very, very small organizations that wasn't, was not the case like three, four years ago. Okay. Uh, that is also the involvement around the ransomware activities that we've seen so far. Okay. Uh, in terms of the IT environment, it's getting more complex because we have hybrid workspace. Uh, there are lots of new uh, emerging technologies like artificial intelligence being used into businesses. So uh, how are IT, what kind of challenges are IT teams facing and how is Tenable and their products and solutions helping when all come those? I, I think if you are going here, you spend like, um, I don't know, three days in Jitex, you will see how much the technology is evolving so fast. So I think what we need to think about as uh, security practitioners is how do we adapt, how do we adapt with that? No. So yes, the IT is changing very, very, very rapidly. So which means that the attack surface for the attackers as well is much more um, accessible, if I would say. You know, the attack surface is changing as much as the IT transformation is changing. So. We have to adapt, but we still have a tenable one mission to help, which is really around prevention. Uh, we believe that more than ever, uh, you know, we need to have a proactive approach rather than detecting only. Uh, we don't say that detection is not important, but we say that if we are focusing much more around prevention, yes, we can balance the risk regarding attacks. Now, because the attack surface is changing, because, you know, now microservices are launched for a day that the cloud and the OT system as well 
identity is still very important in the attack back. Uh, we believe that we have to have that visibility everywhere where we have to reduce the risk and having the exposure to be really detected as, as an exposure rather than just looking at the detection. Okay. So with evolving technologies, uh, we spoke about how customers can benefit from it. Uh, what about the channel partners' uh, point of view? How do you make sure that they are, uh, you know, they stay relevant and they also can sustain their businesses with the new and upcoming technologies? So we are in investing a lot in technology. We're also investing a lot in people and the partners are fond of them. Um, we, the Amedic acquisition will be part of our partner program very quickly. It's about, uh, you know, part of our acquisition strategy. And in the meantime, we invest a lot in training. Awareness for the partners are very important, not only on the technology, the technology is crucial and we are launching training um, in a very, very rapid way. Uh, we also have some of the partners called Guardians. Nothing. So those are the very high level people that are considered like us. Uh, they have certifications that uh, are really like if they were part of Tenable as a team. So we invest a lot of in our partner program. And not only is just having a you know, license available for them, but also people trained and uh, with skills uh, because the skill they need now is different than the skill they needed even three to four years ago. We expanded a lot, so we have to be uh, to invest a lot in our popular landscape. Okay, so with the new uh, acquisitions, I, uh, will you be using Jitex as a platform to uh, identify new partners uh, to join your program uh, because uh, your uh, you know products and solutions have now uh, expanded? Um, will you also be looking at changing something, uh, maybe enhancing the partner program? So we are here in Jitex um, with the, our three di distributors uh, in the region. So which means that being part of the distributor booth, meaning we are very sensitive to the partners. Um, we don't plan to have any announcements here in Jitex regarding the partner program, uh, but we do plan clearly to have more partners which are now capable of going to what we call exposure management. We, we are coming from VM. Uh, this is our DNA you know, uh, scanning vulnerabilities, but we believe it's not enough anymore. Um, exposure is much more than just vulnerabilities. We're talking about misconfigurations. We're talking about identities. We're talking about bringing together within one platform, you know, the data of exposure, which, which is coming from IT resources, cloud, identities, and OT. That mean that we need to have partners that have that capacity to bring with us everything together, not just from a technology standpoint, but also from the capacity they would have to help our customers to go to that vision of more prevention with an exposure management strategy. I didn't mention the term risk, but this is very important. We cannot reduce the attack surface without having a risk approach, which means that the technology we're bringing with, for example, the Tenable One platform in, a, in addition to Hermetic that will be integrated in Tenable One. Um, the partners need to have that risk approach as well with our customers. Altogether, the technology, the partners and the customers with a risk-based approach, we believe that by doing that with more prevention and having a preventive approach, we have the capacity to reduce the attack to face this. Uh, thank you, Mr. Werner, for speaking to us. And thank nice you very much. you with us today. Thank you. Thank you.